People are always asking me what they should learn next or what path they should take to become a front-end developer. And as much as I think it's important to ask yourself what the next thing to learn is, and that creating a clear path is a great idea, I think it's a really dangerous question to ask other people. In this video, we'll look at why that is, the types of questions that you should be asking, and how you can figure out what the next steps of your journey are. Hi, if you're new to my channel, my name is Kevin, and I help teach people how to make the web and how to make it look good while they're at it with weekly tips, tricks, and tutorials. But today, instead of learning about some cool CSS trick, we're looking at learning in a bigger context. So there are a few big problems with the types of questions that go, I've started learning HTML and CSS. Should I learn JavaScript next? Or you also hear things like, I'm pretty good with CSS and JavaScript now, and I'm thinking about learning a framework. Which one should I learn? Problem with these types of questions are, I have no idea how far along you are with your journey, how much you really understand, and what direction you're trying to go in. When someone says they're getting good at HTML and CSS, what do they really mean? And also, especially since when you're learning something new, the more you learn, the more you realize that you don't really know as much as you thought you did and there's a lot more to learn. So I, don't, I really don't know where you are. And also when you're asking someone for the next step you should go in, most of us can only speak from our personal experience. I'll always tell people, say, not to learn Bootstrap or Tailwind or the next flavor de jour in year of learning regular old CSS, because I think a strong understanding of CSS makes you better at all of those and it lets you pick them up much faster. And the same for JavaScript and learning vanilla JavaScript is probably better than learning a specific framework. But if you're getting comfortable with JavaScript and you do want to learn a framework, if you ask around, you won't really learn which one you should learn. You'll just learn about the personal preference of the person that you're asking, right? And in general, that's the issue with these types of questions. They tend not to give you any great insights or anything, but you just hear about what worked for that person in their own situation. Or maybe you hear about something they wish they did differently, and they'll talk about that. But then you can ask someone else who did things completely differently and they're just going to tell you what worked for them or didn't work for them. There's literally a million different answers because there are a million different paths. People who are self-taught and successful will say that's the way to go. People who went through a boot camp and loved it will say to do that or if they had a bad experience then they'll tell you to avoid it. If they got a computer science degree and now they're making bank with a six-figure salary they might say that this is the best choice they ever made in their life, or they're walling away in student debt and they can barely find a job. Then they're obviously going to tell you to avoid going that route and to maybe be self-taught. It's all based on their own personal experience. I think a much better idea is to look at what you want to achieve. Do you want to get a job at a FANG? Start working for a startup? Maybe you want to be a freelancer, or maybe the idea of a big bank or financial institution is really good, or maybe you want to go with a small company or a nonprofit. Many companies will have their own tech stacks, but if you want to work at a startup, React or Vue might be great choices to go in. If you want to get into freelance, maybe you need to start learning PHP because you're probably going to be getting deep into the world of WordPress, for example. Or if you want to work at Google or Amazon or another Fang, well, find out what tech stack that company uses and focus on it. And if you're going, well, I don't know what I want to do, well, then I don't have an answer for you either. We can't go around asking other people what you should learn. You need to ask yourself what you want to do. What's your goal? Because even front-end developer means about a thousand different things at this point. So if you say, I want to be a front-end developer, that doesn't help anybody. And maybe you don't know what you want to do yet, and that's completely fine as well. You can keep going and keep learning and maybe be pushed down a certain path eventually. But I'd strongly suggest you stop and ask yourself what your goal is. And having a job isn't a goal. Having a job at company X is a goal or industry Y is a goal. And don't feel like you're locking yourself in if you're making a decision like this. You might start working toward that goal and then find out you like something else as you're making that progress. And then you start moving in a different direction and that's completely fine. Maybe you want to be a front-end developer and then you start learning a lot about JavaScript and then you get into Node.js and then all of a sudden, you fall in love with that and you discover the world of back end and you never even thought about back end before, but all of a sudden you love it and then you just readjust your goals and you work towards that and that's perfect. 
you're never locked in and you can never guarantee the path and your path is going to change over time. But if I'm gonna tell you anything from my personal experience, which is all I can go by as well, just like anybody else, it's having an end goal in mind is the best way to start making progress and going somewhere. No one can ever tell you with any certainty what the next thing you should learn is. You really need to figure that out for yourself. And when you have an idea and what you want to do is, you can start asking for advice. Look at job postings and the type of job that you'd like to land. And of course, don't be demotivated by job postings that are just like you looking at everybody needs 10 years of experience. They always ask for a lot more than they're actually looking for, but it gives you a general idea on tech stacks and the type of things that you might need to learn. You can also start reaching out to people in those specific areas and see what they use day to day. Or you can talk to recruiters and see what they're looking for when they're hiring a junior developer. And of course, don't be annoying either and start harassing people, but it doesn't hurt to start asking questions and seeing if you can make a bit of networking and really finding out what people in that industry or at that specific company are using every day. I also think that courses, boot camps, and other learning paths are great ways to go because they can curate the information for you. Of course, this is once you have that specific goal in mind. Once you have that goal, it makes it much easier to find the content you need. And then you can use a course or a boot camp or whatever it is to give you specific curated information that can help you get to that end goal much faster. It also makes it a lot less worrisome when you go to purchase a course because you know that's exactly the direction that you want to be going in. So whether you're purchasing a course or a book or something else, when you're spending money on it, you're not so concerned about that because you know that it's going to your end goal instead of this being maybe something I will hopefully use. And speaking of courses, if you're looking to get into freelancing, there is the complete freelancing bundle. I've talked about this bundle before a few times now, and it's something I really think is a good deal, but Kyle is running a special Black Friday sale on it right now as well. So since we're talking about courses and all of that, I thought it would be worth mentioning again because it's a really great bundle that not only looks at the fundamentals of freelancing, but it also looks at things like creating different income streams, how to price your stuff, all the other things that you normally think about, but it also goes into marketing, dealing with clients, how to sell, how to get paid more, as well as access to private communities with other freelancers so you can talk with other people to see what's working for them and all of that and get input from people that are in the field, just like I mentioned that, you know, that's a really good way to be learning. As I said, Kyle is running a sale on this bundle right now with 65% off. And if you use Kev25 at checkout, you'll get an extra 25% off on top of that sale price. If you really are looking at getting into freelancing, it's something that can really focus you and give you all the tools that you need to start pushing in that direction. But whatever it is, whatever you do decide to do in whichever direction you decide to go in, this is something that you need to discover on your own. Asking other people for their advice and their paths is perfectly fine, but just you need to be very aware that they're telling you about their own personal experience and whether it was a good experience or bad experience will heavily influence what they're saying to you. So don't go in expecting to get the path or the answer or exactly what you need to do. Maybe instead you should be asking that to yourself, find out what direction you want to go in. And once you have that, then you can plot that out really easily. Or you can go to myself or other people and say, this is where I want to go. How can I get there? What is a good path? What are the different things I need to learn to get there? And as much as possible, try and ask people who have already got there. They're going to be the ones who really know more so than others. And they're going to be able to help plot things out a little bit based on what they've their own personal experience, but also working in that exact situation. They see all the different things that you need to be able to be in that specific situation. So if you are looking at learning something new, you are making progress. I do hope you find a path for yourself to start moving forward. And I wish you a lot of luck along the way.